TIFF 2016 has officially kicked off in the United States of America in Phoenix, Arizona. IT News Africa is here to interview the kids from Kenya, Nairobi and South Africa to take a look at their scientific innovations. I'm Daryl Linnington, online editor at itnewsafrica.com and let's meet the kids. My name is Bryn Caldwell. I go to St. Stillian's Boys College in South Africa. I'm here representing South Africa at Phoenix at the Intel ISF International Fair for Science and Engineers. So what I'm showcasing at Intel ISF is a project based on acid mine drainage. And acid mine drainage is a problem in South Africa where the water in the mines is becoming very acidic. And my project is based around that if rocks can cause acid mine drainage, what if other rocks or maybe if waste materials can do the opposite. So my project ends conclusion is that concrete is the superior material at doing so and it raises the pH of the water and it neutralizes the water and this water should be able to be used for watering plants and crops in the rural communities of South Africa. The fair itself in America has been amazing. America itself is a great place. It's lots of fun. We don't do too much work, so we get to meet a lot of people. Lots of people from America. Lots of, I've met people from Israel, China, Japan, Thailand. It's a really amazing experience. I get to see cultures from all over the world. My name is Aryan Watiram. I'm in grade 11 at Ladiesmith High School. Um, my journey to ISAF has been, truly been an eye-opening experience. For one, it allowed me the space to expand my scientific mind into many different avenues and follow many different paths regarding scientific procedures and methods. And I'm truly grateful to have the opportunity to represent South Africa, um, my country, at this huge event with over 1,700 students in 70 countries. And I feel honored, in a way, that I was selected um, from the other seven. And also, um, I find that the scientific or the science expo not only allows you to expand your mind, but it allows you to express yourself in ways that many other people can understand. And it gives you the opportunity to improve your public speaking and your, your, your bravery and your courage, and it lifts your self esteem as well. Um, my project um, that I have exhibiting, or oh, that I've exhibited in the ISAF Hall is based on the development of rural areas in this in sense of that it allows them to produce a safer and more effective alternative to coal. Um, what it does is it combines locally sourced ingredients that are free of charge or very cheap um, that allow a person to warm up their home in winter without having to worry about excess carbon monoxide emissions and carbon dioxide emissions which can in turn kill you if they are present in large quantities and also it prevents um, an open flame from occurring which just eliminates the possibility of um, your house catching on fire or your house burning down and such and that's the project I have set up in the hall and I am truly grateful to have the opportunity to set it up and I really um, appreciate Intel or I really thank Intel for giving me this opportunity. Oh, going overseas without any of your family is quite a daunting task and also um, it requires a lot of independence as such like there's no more relying on mom to wake you up in the morning and things like that but other than that it's truly an unforgettable experience it's really a dream come true like I, I dreamt of this and it really did come true. Uh, I'm Amber Dedeka and I'm from Herschel Girls School in Cape Town. At Intel ISIF, I'm showcasing my project about an um, indigenous bush in Platica Gorge on Table Mountain in Cape Town. Um, this bush is called Blister Bush and if it touches your skin it gives you really bad blisters. There's this myth um, around mountaineers in Cape Town that it is more prolific where there are more people. So I wanted to see if this myth was true. I actually found that this myth was incorrect. Originally I thought if it was true, maybe something should be done about it. Perhaps spread where the tourists go, walk up the mountain, and not have them all walk up the same path. It's also quite easy to protect yourself from this bush if you know about it. Um, while if, and just maybe creating awareness for the bush is perhaps the best solution to the problem. The South African team came to Intel um, via uh, ESCOM, ESCO, ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists in South Africa. It has been a wonderful experience here. I love 
or having meeting all the different cultures and all the different countries. Um, perhaps one of the best experiences was the pin exchange, where we got pins from all countries and they covered my lanyard. Uh, very huge thanks to our chaperones and organizers and delegation leaders. My name is Ramya and I'm from SLP Samad School, which is in Nairobi, Kenya. So I'm here to do I'm here to present my project, which is a detection of the two strains of bacteria using the nanowires and antibodies. So the thing is that in Kenya, the disease outbreak or the foodborne disease outbreaks are very, very uh, big problem. It's a very big problem. Many people die every year, and every month you can see that 10 little small kids die. So uh, I have come up with a biosensor that can be able to detect uh, bacteria that is found on the food that many people are taking in because the food is the one is the only way that the bacteria can enter into their body. It's by taking in. So I've just come up with a biosensor that can be able to detect the bacteria that is there in the food uh, by the process of using the antibodies and the nanowires that we're using. So this is just simply what I'm doing right now and that is just that. Yeah. Okay, so coming from Kenya to uh, Arizona is a very, very long journey. We're all like fighting lag time right now actually. Um, and Intel has been very good, like this whole week has been such an amazing time. The opening ceremony, presentations and everything was like really, really so good. It's a very different experience from what we usually have every time. And it's really nice because I get to learn new things, meet to get, get to meet new people. So it's really, really fun. Yeah. Okay, so I actually uh, thank one of my friends who came for Intel last year and really told me like how good it is and also I really started working hard because I wanted to be in Intel because it was really such a good thing. She showed me pictures and she showed me how fun it is and all those new ideas that you, you see from people and also really she inspired me a lot to do this and I came here and I feel really happy because I actually got inspired by her and followed her so I do feel very happy about that. Okay, my name is Michelle Vicaria and I'm from Nairobi, Kenya and uh, I'm representing a CLP Samad School and we've come, up, uh, we've come here with a project on environmental engineering in the subcategory of water resource management and uh, we are solving the problem of purification of water in people living in and semi-arid areas. So basically the people who are living there they have problems when it comes to drinking water, the, often the water there is contaminated so we are coming up with a basic xylem filter which is cheap and affordable by these people so they can drink clean water and uh, we can reduce the number of death risks that are caused in these areas. Okay, uh, from Kenya it is okay, it's driving because 22 hours journey and uh, Phoenix is a good place but it's hot. Okay, we have even places in, like, in uh, Mombasa where if it's hot, it's the same season here. But in Phoenix is amazing and Intel is good. We made new friends, new experiences and we've learned a lot from Intel. And uh, there's a lang we made friends. Okay, there was language barrier, but we feel very grateful and honored to be here. Thank you. My name is Amanjino Matthew. I'm from Nigeria. Yeah, me and my partner we designed a project called Flood Detector, locating a warning system with GSM application. This device is able to sense the presence of water. It's also able to detect the levels of water. It distinguishes the levels. After detecting the water, send an information to a PIC program using assembly language. This information is decoded by the PIC. Then it is displayed on the LCD as flood level. As the flood level increases, it displays it. And this PIC also communicates with a GSM module. This GSM module consists of a GPS which is help, which help for locating. This GSM module send a short message when the level, the water level is at flood level one to zero to three. It send a short message to saved numbers. When the flood level gets to level four, the, the device sound an alarm to inform people around, and it's also called save numbers on the GSM module. So this is all what we've done. We also designed an application called ISUN application. In my own language, ISUN means flood. So this application enables you to have access to flood information. It gives you real-time information about flood. When you launch the application, you see the map of the world, you see the, the, the flooded region on the map, and you see the water level map on the flood on the on the in the application. So and again we also design a flood control center. We see that if we only stop 
are the flood detector when the, the device can detect flood and only send information to the owner and neighbors around, that won't be enough because they won't take necessary action to save lives and property. So we, this is, we, we, we think about constructing a flood control center. This flood control center, it also display the flood information, but when the flood gets to level four, it's automatically called the national emergency number to inform them about flood situation and the flooded region. So they will take necessary actions. That's all we've done so far. Coming here all the way from Nigeria, although it was fantastic, but we have to use just about 15 hours getting here. We have to lodge at a hotel at Doha, from Doha to Los Angeles, from Los Angeles, after all, finally to Phoenix. So it was it was fantastic. I'm in grade 11, so after a year in secondary school, I want to further my education to the university, studying computer engineering. Then I also have scientific experiences, sharing ideas with other people. My name is Zaina Badru, and I'm here with Adudu Gracia. Yeah, we're from Dorogus Private Academy, Lagos, Nigeria. We made a project titled Smart Flood Management. It's simply the smarter way of managing flood all over the world. Um, also, the houses here it represents a state where we are going to monitor the houses. Um, also, we have a water level sensor placed in each house for signals to be sent to our residents. Also, when we notice that water from flood is usually put to waste, so we created a water reservoir so that water can flow in there and also flow to farmlands as a means of irrigation. Also, our project works with an app. Yeah, we have an app. Yeah. An app. Our project works with an app. So we, we have, we have some interfaces like location configuration, notifying me, and safety tips. The safety tips just use like a reminder to what you can do when floods are about to happen. And also for the location configuration, we have select where you are, select where you are going to. So you are like right where you are, practically there. Then where you are also going to. Then once you are done, then you can submit. Then if it's safe to go, you get a signal that it's safe to go. But if it's flooded, the alarm bells will ring that it's. In conclusion, we think it will go a very long way in saving lives and properties and taking appropriate measures at that instance and also ensuring sustainable socioeconomic growth. Thank you.